Hey everyone, it is your girl Capri and today we are going to be doing a blowout. Yes, it's been a minute since I've done anything with my natural hair, I know, but this hair dryer is from Hot and Hotter by Annie. I got from her from Sam's Beauty. So if you guys want to see how I achieve my blowout, then keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so here is the blow dryer brush right here. So it has bristles on it that reminds me of like a paddle brush and then these right here. It also has three settings, cold, low, and high, and then the zero at the bottom is off. It has a swivel cord and you're able to take the brush head off so that you can clean it and rinse it out and do whatever you need to do with it. So yeah, I'm just going to start doing my hair. So I'm going to be using the Swab Professionals Nourish and Strengthen Leave-In Conditioner with Natural Shea Butter and Coconut Oil. And then you gotta protect your natural hair. So here is some Dove Care Smooth and Shine Heat Protection Spray and it protects your hair up to 450 degrees. So I'm just gonna put that in my hair, comb it through, and then we're going to proceed to blow dry. Okay, so when I blow dry my hair, I do a combination of each setting. So I start on high, then I move down to low, and then I move down to cool just to finish it off. And then we're going to do a quick length check because I know it's been a minute since I've had my hair stretched in any type of way. So we are at about waist length. So yeah, we're almost tailbone, y'all. We get in there, we get in there. So while I go ahead and show you guys that shrinkage is real and continue to blow dry my hair, I'm just going to get into some of the cons of the blow dryer. So I will say that I do not like how the handle is. So it's kind of thick up top. So holding it, I have really little hands. Um, holding it is very, very hard, especially when you're touching your hair and it's wet and it's slippery. There's nothing like rubbery there. For you to like get a good grip on it and it also just like leaves a cramp in my hand because like I said my hand's small so I do wish that it was more I, get, I think the words like ergonomic or something like that correct me if I'm wrong I don't know y'all I don't know so yeah and you just got to really really hold on to it and it gets really hot up there too so it's kind of hard and you kind of want to like move your hand down but it gets thicker towards the bottom so it makes it even worse I don't know um, but it definitely does do the job and it works really really well I just wish that the design of it was a little better So this is the finished result of my blowout so I believe this is by Annie and you can probably find it at your local beauty supply store I bought it at samsbeauty.com I bought this myself it was only $20 like really inexpensive compared to like the Revlon which I saw for like 35 40 almost $50 maybe so this is what it looks like it has the these bristles it's like a paddle brush type of brush and then it has these these are hard they're not like silicone or anything like that they're hard like plastic almost but they keep your hair like separated as well so i really like that um i can't say like whether this will give you heat damage or not so i do like it but um i'll test it when i wash my hair it has um off switch a cool setting medium and high or low and high so what i do is basically i start on high blow my hair out and i blow it on high only until it gets dry and then after it's dry i move down to the medium or the low i don't like i said i don't know um the medium or the low do that get it straight and then i finish on cool and i go through my whole um section again and then if I need to, I'll go back up to high, but I don't like to stay on high too long just because it is heat. It might not be super direct heat, but it's still heat. This saved me so much time on blow drying my hair. It took me about between five and seven 
minutes to do each section in the back was about seven minutes in the front five minutes because um the front of my hair is a lot looser curl and it's not as much hair the back is so like tightly curled it's thicker in the back too total that's what 14 plus 10 about 24 minutes about 24 minutes to do my whole entire hair. We usually, I'm in the bathroom. Y'all know, if y'all use like a regular, how I used to do it, let me sit this down. Um, How I used it in my hair. If you ever watched any of my straightening videos, you'll see how I used to blow out my hair. And I'd be in there like sweating. I have to go get a fan, bring it to the bathroom with all of that to get my hair straight. I would literally be in there for hours maybe like an hour or two blow dry my hair because I would have to like separate the section go in do that section separate another section go in do that section this just saves me like so much time like and it actually got my hair pretty straight excuse me yes i'm getting some gray hairs um this is my hair and i love it i love the amount of time that it saves and it just feels good it looks good it got the ends really really well they do need to be trimmed though probably like right there but yeah let me go ahead and turn around and show you guys what it's looking like so this is from the side and this is the back yeah this is the back y'all who have been with me y'all know um how my hair journey went i went natural 2012 um chopped my hair 2016 really really low because i got heat damage and this is me 2020 and today is april 3rd so yes if you guys have any questions at all please do not hesitate to leave them down below in the comment section if you like this video if i helped you in any way definitely give this video a thumbs up don't forget to comment rate and subscribe hit that bell over there wherever it's at to be notified when i post new videos and of course y'all know i will see you guys in my next one and before i do head out i just want to say be safe with this whole coronavirus thing i know we're living in really dark scary times right now but just stay prayed up i wish you all the best and i wish you all many blessings in these days to come love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next one Better make the crowd rock, crowd.